Hey, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning. What is going on? What's going on? Kicking off a another week, and the market is actually wrapping up the last week of November trading session. Got Thanksgiving on Thursday, which the market will be closed. So we have a quote unquote short week, four day week. Usually, when there's a holiday on Thursday, Fridays are a little thinner uh, overall, you know, to stretch out a nice four day week. And so Let's, let's just focus on a three-day solid trading session this week. That's what we're looking at. So um, we're kicking off our uh, beginning of our weekly uh, watch list here. We're going to be putting up a uh, weekly watch list instead of a daily um, as we're focusing on um, the same basket of securities heading into the rest of the year going into 2020. So we're going to be kicking it off uh, talking about um, what we're looking at for the week and uh, specific levels. Obviously, members are going to get a more in-depth uh, overview of what we're looking at, but uh, just a general idea of what we're looking at for the rest of the community. So uh, last week, obviously, you know, you see, you saw that spy here. Um, you know, pretty much had that range, uh, that 312 to 309 range. Um, you know, it, it had a little bit of a push. You know, going into that, cracking the 310 in the beginning of the week, and then it lost that battle on the 20th. Obviously, you know, the the thing with this China U.S. trade deal, it's just it's it's becoming a broken record. Uh, you know, that first phase uh, part of the uh, deal, it's going to happen, it's not going to happen, it's going to happen, it's not going to happen. So back and forth, it's just, you know, I mean, it's going to be a little monotonous. Um, we think the reaction is going to be already priced into the market from the street anyway. But as you saw on Wednesday, um, you know, the, that continued uh, seesaw uh, confirmation, you know, ended up uh, having the market sell off. As you can see, you know, pretty much sold off it, right? I think it was like the one one o'clock period uh, on uh, just, just after lunch on Wednesday the 20th, the 20th. Um, but we are seeing prices are gapping up uh, pre-market in the ETF so across the board all security not all securities but most securities uh, at least the large cats we're trading are gapping up as well so um, you know last week obviously ended up this, the sector session we had a 7-4 bull split financials took to, took a uh, top spot and real estate wrapped up the bottom Energy was right there, right at the bottom, but uh, you know they didn't they didn't lose the battle uh, on the Friday session. Obviously, the past couple of weeks the energy has been getting smashed. You know they've been pretty much living at the bottom. They flopped to the top a couple of times, but the uh, that's the sector has been getting beat up to death um, as of lately. So you know obviously trade cautiously uh, if you're in that involved in that uh, sector. So anyway, let's kick it off. Um, we're obviously uh, gonna you know kick it off with our Netflix. Uh, position so you know you can see these guys are selling off pre-market um, they're not posting until the middle of January but um, you know you're gonna have some pullbacks here and there overall we're gonna be bullish on these guys these guys are obviously between the 50 and the 200 day moving average on the daily uh, right now it's trading at what the 307 uh, it closed you know had a, a high what 314 after hours um, on Friday but uh, we're going to be bullish overall. Um, you know, we, we think, uh, you know, it's obviously ran into this resistance level. So not surprised that it, you know, it pulled back a little bit. We anticipate a little bit of selling today. Uh, but overall, we think it's going to be a bullish week. Had a pretty solid week last week. Um, but overall, we're going to be pretty uh, um, adamant on our 325-ish uh, target. Um, but it needs, obviously, to find some support. So it probably is going to bounce, bounce around the day, maybe even Tuesday. Um, but that being said, you know, overall, we're going to be uh, waiting for that, uh, that support to uh, settle in and then obviously risk the upside. So overall, we're going to be bullish for the week of um, this last week of uh, November for Netflix moving forward. So NVDA, as you can see, they they're had a nice run gap up this morning, trading at the 216, almost 217 level. Um, that target, you know, that we've had is pretty much going to get breached pretty soon as far as the resistance level. Um, you know, pre-market, we want this thing to, to uh, you know, have a nice pullback right out of the bell. You know, at least give us some nice 15, 20 minutes, preferably at about the 10 a.m. Uh, point. Uh, we'd like to see a nice pullback and find some support to maybe going from a little bit of red to green would be actually ideal. Um, so, you know, again, uh, we got a 217, 218 price target. Um, you know, it's pretty much you know at that level right now going into the close on friday you know we had a lot more meat on the bone so you know again you know we want this thing to pull back a little bit but we are going to be uh, bullish until that 218 overall let's say 220 um and then that'll probably be a dent be an area 
to a risk off to the downside. But, um, you know, we want this thing to pull back a little bit to give us a nice, at least a five point run to that uh, overall 220 level. So, again, uh, pre market run in, but we want to see a nice pullback before heading in. Roku, um, you know, you can see they back in uh, the the uh, beginning of October they find that they found some support to bounce off of and they've been pushing up higher pretty much consecutively the last two months with this random pullbacks be between above and below the 50-day moving average. So we're bullish overall. Um, we're gonna see some pullbacks probably along the path, but uh, you you probably gonna see this 180 again. It's all time high. Um, not this week, but uh, we're definitely gonna be bullish overall. Um, we got a 165 initial that we're going to uh, stay uh, diligent with, but anticipating some pullbacks along the way. Um, again, we're going to be bullish on Roku. Um, there's no, you know, on, technically on the daily, we see some nice patterns setting up for us. So waiting for that breakout to the upside and uh, we anticipate a nice 15 to 20 point run on Roku. Shopify, uh, listen, you guys know how we are. I don't know how much of you um, pay attention to what we're doing with Shopify, but uh, we're not a fan of the company. I'm not a fan, definitely not a fan of these prices. However, you know, you're seeing them fight off this 200-day moving average. So, you know, right now it's sitting at that 50 above. Um, you know, it, it has that 310 right, up, right below it. It's hitting that support that they found on Friday. It needs to hold these levels pushing higher. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of opportunity to that 350 level um, if it can hold, quote, if, right? So um, we're, we're over, like long term or bearish on shop, but uh, in the intraday, even maybe even this week, they may see prices pushing higher. Um, so we're going to trade what the chart gives us. We're going to trade what the street gives us. So, um, you know, overall we're, our sentiment is bearish, but again, um, we will trade uh, Shopify to the to the uh, upside if it starts to solidify this 310 as a support level and pushing higher any any, any uh, pullback to to VWAP we definitely will step in and mitigate um, at a at a, a strong uh, risk level so again you know we're going to be bearish but we could could see prices push higher to the 330 340 level 350 level if this 310 holds. If not, 50 will push it down and we will revisit the 200s and the 200 day moving average. So we're going to wait to see how these guys are going to operate today. Tesla, they got slammed after that stupid LA event unveiling of their cyber truck. Clearly, you know, the, the market clearly overreacted as you can see because it's gapping up uh, almost what 15 points pre market from the close on Friday. At the end of the day, that was just a, 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 a personal, you know, uh, opinion, personal taste. You know, it's 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 an aesthetic thing that people didn't like, but you know, there's uh, some nice, solid reports coming out that there's they have a couple hundred thousand, a little bit shy of a couple hundred thousand orders already for the truck. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it, these guys are are kind of stepping ahead of everybody else, and you know, the first guy to the party usually takes a little bit of time to get settled in. So and these that's what these guys are at, you know, that's why you guys you know, see these these price fluctuations as you see. Um bullish overall, 100% bullish on Tesla and we like the pullbacks, give give them some solid opportunities. You're going to see a lot of chasers today. We're going to see a nice pullback. We anticipate a nice um pullback to the upside uh today anywhere getting closer to that that pre-market high would be fantastic for a nice uh, catapult to the north side filling this gap. It's already on its way as you guys can see. We're going to wrap it up with the trade desk. You know how we do like the trade desk. Um, you know, we're bullish on trade desk as well. You know, these guys obviously got hit. The whole tech sector got hit, um, you know, from the street thinking these, you know, these uh, these uh, tech companies that with their elevator price don't, you know, don't belong at these levels that they're trading. However, these guys defended that um, that sentiment, obviously find support in October and then bouncing, uh, then bouncing around, uh, getting out of the 100s into the 200s or up like almost 50 points from its lows or actually 60 points from uh, October's lows. And, um, you know, you're going to have a little pullback here and there, but, you know, we got a 255 overall, so another 10 points to the upside uh, target before we see a little bit of consolidation. But um, we're definitely going to be bullish this week um, with your pullbacks here and there. But again, uh, we got 255 price target for the trade desk. Again, members, we're going to be uh, going a little bit deeper uh, for this um, this analysis this week. Um, so check out the members area. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a probably a strong week in the market. You know, um, obviously, we, have, we were looking at a three-day week um, with uh, Thanksgiving on Thursday. Market's going to be closed. 
So uh, we anticipate a nice, uh, solid uh, three sessions this week. So again, guys, as always, you know, we're here. Um, you know, you always, you know, just continue to say respect your stops. Be patient with price. Be patient with setups. If you're wrong, exit your position. Conserve your capital. Remain and keep a seat at the table. Right? If you're right, if you're wrong with your uh, trades, step out, reevaluate your original thesis. If you're right, maybe just early, hop back in. If not, move on. Learn and move on, guys. Be patient with everything. Be patient with price. Be patient with the price. All right. There's plenty of time to trade all day long. The market's going to be open tomorrow. Not on Thursday, but it's going to be open on Wednesday and on Friday. So there's plenty of time to make money, man. Just be patient with it. Be patient with it. All right, guys. Any questions, reach out to us, members. Check out the, the area. We're going to be going deeper into uh, our analysis. All right, guys. Have a good one, and we'll check you next week. Remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our trading videos.